One of the major benefits of marriage is shared wealth. Statistically, married people are better off financially than those who are non-married. Money can also be one of the most divisive issues in a relationship. This is especially true when we have different perspectives on how to spend it. Money can be a blessing and a basis of intimacy in marriage, but for that to happen, we need to gain a mutual understanding of how to relate to it as a couple. You cannot have intimacy without trust. Intimacy means an inner closeness. It means I'm going to let you in to the Holy of Holies. I'm going to open my heart of hearts and you're going to see a part of me that no one's ever seen. You're going to hear things from me that no one's ever heard. And I'm going to allow you into the inner sanctum. And let me just say, no one goes in there unless they pass the trust test. And money is a massive issue as it relates to the issue of trust. And let me talk about women. I'm going to talk about women and men. But let me begin with women. The number one need of a woman, in my belief, is security. Women are very security oriented. And money is a very important part of a woman's need for security. I believe it's the reason how many women hide money from their husbands or have a secret stash or something like that. I'm hoping that Karen's hiding a million dollars and I'm going to find it one of these days. But <laughs> the, it's because of this security issue. But another need that women have is leadership. Every woman wants her husband to be a leader, not to dominate her, but to initiate the well-being of the home romantically, spiritually, with the children, and with money. Every woman wants her husband to be the money leader of the home, with her being an equal partner. And so her security is derived by knowing that her husband is tuned in, and her husband is being responsible in that area. But let me talk about another issue that is a massive issue that many times we don't discuss, but I want to discuss it because it is at the heart of a lot of the problems that we're experiencing in America, and that is this. Women are better when they're domestically centered. Women are happier when they're domestically centered. And domestically centered doesn't mean that they don't work. It means that they're able to turn their hearts toward their home and to focus at home. And so that's what women want, and the world is better off when women are able to be domestically centered. Whether they're a full-time mom or whether they're, they're working, but they're, their heart is at home. But here's every woman's fear, married woman's fear. If I sacrifice to become domestically centered and turn my heart toward home, in other words, by sacrificing, it means I've sacrificed a career, I'm now going to become more financially dependent upon you or totally financially dependent upon you and you're going to take advantage of it. You're, once I become domestically centered and once you become the chief breadwinner, then you're going to use that as an advantage over me. And if we split up at some point in time, I'm going to be financially devastated. And women are. When men and women divorce, men are affected financially. Women are devastated financially, statistically. Women are much worse off. And so the conversation that is had in most homes in America today with daughters is this conversation. When they're high school, college age, parents sit them down and say, you can't trust a man, get an education. You go and you learn to have an employable skill and you start a career before you have a family because you don't want to become dependent upon a man. And you always keep an oar in the water just in case he drowns. You know, just in case he deserts you. You be sure that you don't become uh, dependent upon a man. Let me tell you the conversation that ought to be taking place in America with sons. And that is, every parent ought to sit their high school, college son down and say, you be faithful to your wife. And if your wife chooses to be a stay-at-home mom and to be domestically centered, and she becomes dependent upon you financially, you don't ever take advantage of that. You don't ever use that over her head. And you... Till the day you die, you be faithful to that woman. Thank you for joining us. Experience the life-changing series, You, Me, and Money, on CD or DVD. Follow your interests and get social by connecting with Jimmy and Karen and the Ministry of Marriage Today on Twitter. Looking for your next great book? Start reading instantly with Marriage Today's eBooks, now available online. Marriage Today's latest book, Lifelong Love Affair, is an essential tool couples can turn to again and again for inspiration and strength. Order your copy today.
Become a rock-solid partner today and equip yourself with the tools you need for a successful marriage. $14, $28, or $56 per month. Choose the partnership level that's right for you. Become a rock-solid partner today.